the James Webb Telescope has crossed a new milestone. In the short span since it began operations, the James Webb Space Telescope has made discovery after discovery impressing everyone. Recently, the JWST captured the first images of a planet beyond our solar system. So what did James Webb discover about the new exoplanet, IX, this new planet capable of sustaining life? Let's find out. Before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's dive right into today's content. The JWST just discovered a blazing gas giant shrouded in dusty red clouds and has been revealed in unprecedented observations of a planet beyond our solar system. The observations, which astronomers said marked a historic moment for astronomy, are the first direct images of a planet beyond our solar system by NASA's $10 billion James Webb Telescope. They are also the first images of an exoplanet using infrared light, which gives a far more precise indication of a planet's mass and temperature and will allow astronomers to detect the movement of clouds drifting across the planet's sky. Professor Sasha Hinckley, an astronomer based at the University of Exeter who co-led the observation said, This is really a historic moment for astronomy. James Webb is going to open the door to a whole new class of planets that have been completely out of reach to us, and by observing them at a broad range of wavelengths, we can study their compositions in a much more in-depth way. We will be able to detect the presence of weather. Directly imaging exoplanets is a huge technical challenge because the host star is so much brighter. The focus of the latest observations, HIP 65426b, is a gas giant about 5 to 10 times the mass of Jupiter located 385 light-years from Earth in the Centaurus constellation. It is about 100 times further from its host star than Earth is from the Sun, making it easier to distinguish, but is still more than 10,000 times fainter than its host star, the equivalent of trying to spot a firefly next to a large lighthouse for more than 50 miles away. So what do we know about this new exoplanet HIP 65426? This planet is, like we mentioned, earlier lies in the constellation Centaurus. It is around 14 million years old. However, it doesn't have a debris disk, despite its young age, causing it to not fit current models for planetary formation. It is around 92 astronomical units from its parent star with a possible dusty atmosphere. The latest observations put the planet's atmospheric temperature at roughly 1300 degrees Celsius and suggest its atmosphere contains red-hued clouds of silicate dust. As you can guess, this planet is not suitable for habitation. Professor Himkley says, It would be a terrible place to live. You'd be roasted alive if you could float around in the atmosphere. The planet HIP 65426 is comparable to our own gas giant Jupiter in the solar system. The James Webb Telescope has sent some incredible photos and made some impressive discoveries on the largest planet in our solar system. The images show auroras, giant storms, moons and rings surrounding Jupiter in detail that astronomers have described as incredible. The infrared images were artificially colored to make the features stand out. This is because infrared light is invisible to the human eye. We've never seen Jupiter like this, it's all quite incredible," said planetary astronomer Imke de Pater of the University of California, who played a key role in the project. We hadn't really expected it to be this good, to be honest, she added. NASA said that in the standalone view of Jupiter, created from a composite of several images from the telescope, auroras extended to high altitudes above both the northern and southern poles of Jupiter. Auroras are light shows in the skies above the planet caused by interactions with particles streaming away from the sun. Meanwhile, the Great Red Spot, a famous storm so big it could swallow Earth, appeared white. This was because it reflected a lot of sunlight. Astronomers have been focusing their attention to exoplanets in distant galaxies for quite some time now. Until now, astronomers have obtained direct images of 20 or so exoplanets, including HIP 65426b, using ground-based telescopes. But this meant contending with noise introduced by the Earth's atmosphere and restricted observations to a narrow range of visible wavelengths. By contrast, the latest images captured from the cold, airless environment of space span a wide range of wavelengths, including the infrared, which accounts for most of the light produced in the planet's atmosphere. The best wavelength to observe a planet is the one at which it produces the most intrinsic light because this is directly tied to the temperature of the planet, said Dr. Beth Biller, a co-principal investigator and an astronomer at the University of Edinburgh. HIP 65426b is only 10 to 20 million years old, far younger than the 4.5 billion year old Earth, and the latest observations give new insights into how Jupiter and Saturn may have looked in their infancy. Dr. Vivian Parmentier, 
an associate professor in physics at the University of Oxford, who was not involved in the latest work, said, Opening a new window into the universe always brings surprises. Planets form big and contract with time, and this baby planet seems to have shrunk faster than what we expected. This gives us amazing insights into how planets form and how our own solar system formed. In the future, James Webb is expected to make detailed observations of more Earth-like distant planets, including those with potentially habitable conditions. Well, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.